Okay, so now let's do another question on another example on what you call on uh, on moment of inertia and uh, centroid. I uh, will combine them now. So just to, to make sure that everyone is following up on the formulas to calculate the moment of inertia, right? So now we have um, a T profile that has the following measurement. It has um, a flange of four times two centimeters uh, in the in the web, and then uh, we have six centimeters deep and um, two centimeters wide. So that means uh, this one is two centimeters wide, and then this at six centimeters deep, and then we have uh, four times two. That means this is two. And then this one is what this one is four, like this. Now, so our first question now say calculate the centroid. Now, so to calculate the centroid, when you're looking at our on the y uh, on the x axis like this, when you cut it here, it's not what it's not symmetric. Therefore, we have to calculate it. But when we cut it here on the X, uh, on the y axis is what it's symmetric it's going to give us two um, so that means your centroid and the uh, i on y axis when you cut it here it will be half of what half of two so half of four which is going to be two then when you calculate at this direction the four we can say our centroid which is x it will be equals to uh, area number one times x one plus area number two times x number two divided by the total area. So let's uh, divide it here, and then let's say this one is number one, then this one is number two, right? Mm -hmm. So to get area number one will be equals to our area number one will be equals to six times two. So 6 multiplied by 2 will get what? 12 uh, centimeters squared or square centimeter. Okay, um, and then uh, area number 2 will be equals to 2 multiplied by 4. So it's 4 multiplied by 2. Get what? Get 8 uh, squared. And then for total, it's going to be 12 plus 8. And then we get what? we get um 20 right okay so now um because we are cutting at the x-axis that means we are starting from this space right let's put a a here so from this point to the center of what to the center of uh shape number one it's what it's x it's x1 which is going to be what half of six which is three so let's put it here. X1 is what? It's 3. Then uh, when looking at X number 2, it's going to be what? From this point to the center of this second. Sorry, this shape, which is shape number 2, is going to be what? This is going to be X2. Right? So if this is X2, therefore this half here of this shape is what? It's 1 because it's 2. Half of 2, it's 1. Then 1 plus what? plus 6 from this point to this side is going to be one, going to be 7 so 7 so for your centroid now we're going to say area number 1 we said area number 1 it's uh 12 multiplied by x1 it's one x1 is 3 plus uh area number 2 it's uh 8 multiplied by x number 2 7 all over uh what you call our total which is therefore you get what you get your centroid simple as that Sim and then when it comes to uh, now on the moment of inertia about y axis and as well as uh, x axis right so on the y axis we said on the y axis it's what your your moment of uh, the shape on the y axis is what it's um it's symmetric so if it's symmetric it's going to be our 
moment of inertia on our y-axis is going to be um, the moment of inertia on our area number one, on our shape number one plus the moment of inertia on shape number two, right? So which is still on y y like this. Let's say it's shape number two, this is shape number one. So now we said uh, when we calculating on the triangle or <clears throat> or rectangle, it's uh is the base multiplied by the height. So on this case, it's going to be one. It's going to be um four. What is it? It's going to be uh here. Yeah, it's going to be our b. It's one. It's two multiplied by four cubed over twelve plus. It's this one, right? The sorry, this is second shape, sorry. But uh, now it's vice versa. This is uh, the, uh, our first shape, which was supposed to be M. It's called, it's what? It's uh, two, uh, sorry, it's six multiplied by two cubed over 12. This one is this side. And then this is this side. And then we get what our uh, area, uh, sorry, moment of, Inertia on what on our x x um so because it's what because it's symmetry here so all the half of it of the shapes are in what are in the same um are in the same uh, are in the same multiple are in the same line right so the uh the center of x of shape number two is still here in the same line that the area of what of this one is sorry this the center of this first shape is still here right so when you go to uh, the X it's where you have to shift now from the um, from this bottom to what right, to our our area sorry to our um, what you call our centroid our centroid here uh, I don't know is the answer here Right, so if we get the answer here, therefore we can put, so we can say maybe our centroid is here, right? So now from this shape, we're going to subtract here to get what h1, because now if it's not symmetric, we're going to um, calculate use what uh, this formula. We're going to say the i, it's equals to uh, i x x on shape one plus area of number one and h1 right and then plus also i x x on what on shape number two plus area number two this is how you calculate your moment of inertia it depends on what on uh the shape if the shape is uh if the center of that shape is exactly in the centroid you just put this formula but if it's not on the cent centroid or on the line of the centroid, you use this one. So we have to shift because this is x1, we have to shift toward to h1. This is x1, we have to shift also to h what h2. So to get h2, we're going to say um let's say h1, it will be the centroid minus uh, x1 which is what which is 3 h number 2 is going to be the centroid uh, or let's say it's x number 2 which is 7 is 7 minus the centroid and then you get h1 then you multiply by the areas then you get your uh, your formula then sorry not your formula your your answer which is the moment of inertia about what you call about x axis no? uh, okay uh, because okay we are done uh, you, you you can put your, your, your comment and also your question and uh, my email is still available you can use that you can send your own personal question and then I will make a video then I will upload it also here. Yeah.
then I will notify you if uh, your video or your answers are available on the on YouTube. So my email, you can use my email. It's um Faguto, right? Faguto, m m m m uh, at gmail, right? So you can um send maybe a picture or a scanned uh question paper or any uh sort of uh question or you can write it and send and then i will make sure that i answer your question and then put on the your video on youtube uh thank you for tuning up